Hey guys, I hope everyone out there is safe and doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I got this from Walmart for five something. I wanted to try something new. I don't like to buy medium large pizzas, but this looked good. And I said, you know what? I'm going to give it a try. I'll put the price in the description box below. It's Buffalo style chicken pizza. This is what it's supposed to look like. Okay. This is what's in it and on it. Okay. Let's get to the ingredients. Here's that. And here's the two mile long ingredient list. If y'all wanna pause it and read that, but you can go to the store and, and, and look it up, you guys. So this is the pizza here. Yesterday, I already ate the other half. When I buy a, a medium or large pizza, um, frozen, I like to cut it in half and eat one half one day. I don't eat pizza like that, you guys, so I'm not going to eat a whole pizza by myself. So I eat one half one day, and then if I decide at the end of the day, no, I don't want no pizza, well, it's in the, the other half is in the freezer. But let me tell you, this pizza is so good. <laughs> For a frozen pizza, this is really good, you guys. It does not, nothing on here tastes artificial. Nothing on here tastes like preservatives. This is really good. This is really good. I, I really like this, and I'm going to go back and, and get one more. Um, I'm not going to stock up because I don't want it to go bad, and I don't want to get sick of it. This is what it looks like. I mean, it's loaded, you guys. It's loaded with sauce, cheese, chicken. It's stuffed crust, okay? I like to put my pizza on foil because I don't, I like my pizza nice and soft. I don't want that really crunchy, crispity crust. If you like that, put the pizza on the rack, directly on the rack, you know? Um, I don't, I mean, I, I don't hate it, but I, I just don't want it. I want a soft crust. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It smells amazing. Um, I give it a 10 out of 10. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm in love with this pizza. I'm so glad I tried it. That's why I like trying new things. That's why I don't buy, you know, I don't stay to, uh, stick to the same thing because I like to try new things. So I'm glad I tried this. It's not salty at all. It's not greasy at all. It doesn't taste like cardboard. It doesn't taste artificial. It doesn't taste like preservatives. It's just perfect. It's like, it's, it's, it tastes homemade. You know what I'm saying? I've had homemade pizza. It's damn, it's heaven. This is that. This is so good. Mmm. You could definitely taste the ranch. Okay. I love ranch. If you love ranch in Buffalo, anything, you're going to love this pizza. Okay. Um, it's not spicy at all. I mean, if you just pick at the chicken, the chicken is, it does have a, a little bit of a kick, but nothing to go get water, you know, over. So... Yeah, this is this is really good and it's stuffed crust. And it was only five something, I can't remember exactly. And it's it's a thick cheese stick and it goes all the way around the crust. The bread tastes like almost like a French baguette, 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 I don't know how y'all say it. And that's my favorite bread. That's how this tastes. The bread is just bursting with flavor. Whenever I have pizza, I always have to have a side of ranch or marinara sauce. And lately it's been Rouse marinara. I kid you not, I only touched my marinara sauce one time. I only dipped the a little bit of the crust. And then I was like, no, no, no. I want the pizza by itself. I never do that. This is so good. Y'all need to go try it. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you can recommend a pizza that's not so expensive, I can try. Please let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.